So with Matty Heyman winning the Paris Roubaix the other night, it sort of got me thinking about indoor trainers, uh, online environments. We know that really there's only one gaming style online environment at the moment, it's Zwift. This isn't a Zwift advertisement, it isn't a Wahoo Kicker advertisement uh, or infomercial as some people would say. It's more of a, it's more of an exploration as to, you know, I mean the guy spent a month on an indoor trainer before winning Paris Roubaix. That is huge, right? So really I want to take you guys or explore what what he was doing, where he was riding, and for those who are not familiar with that sort of online environment. And I just wanted to show you guys what that's all about in this vlog today. Um, when I think about online, to, uh, online environments and indoor trainers, the man to talk to is Shane Miller. He's uh, Melbourne based here and he is very experienced at training uh, indoors and online. So I'm heading over to Shane Miller's house now and we're going to have a go on Zwift. That's something that Matthew Heyman has been riding on for the past month and we're going to explore how it helped him with his Paris Roubaix race the other night. Matthew Heyman has won two professional races. Tom Bowman 109. The odds are stacked against the Australian. Did the underdog has gotten up before? One left to go. All right, I've just arrived at Shane Miller's place. Um, here is the setup here. So this is the Llama Den. What's going on here, mate? Conductor stand. Yeah, okay. Beautifully built. About 60 bucks. Yeah. Um, but does everything you need. So you need access to the wireless keyboard, mouse, volume control, and most importantly, the air conditioner split system control. Okay. And, and a few other things. So we all know that Matthew Hamer won the Paris Roubaix. We're going to look, like, just in case you don't know, he spent a month on Zwift, which is essentially this online gaming environment uh, for cyclists. And we're going to look at what it was about Zwift that kept the fitness there for him. Is that what we're going to look at? Yeah. I what else so. are we going to look at? Coming into winter, you need your environment set up right. The winter for the Southern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere, you're coming into summer. Yeah. It's always good to have a, an environment set up that you can just throw your bike on, throw some shoes on, throw some nicks on, and away you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks like a pretty nice environment to me. Mate, what are the most important things in this room? Let's run through them. First of all, it's the trainers themselves. Yep. Without them, you're not going very far at all. Yep. What do they roughly pay? What what do people pay roughly for these? Oh, they're around fifteen hundred dollars Australian. Okay. Uh, and the price point's different throughout the world. Bike kick is definitely the uh, the trainer of choice for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fifteen hundred dollars um, with cassette and great support from Wahoo. Their customer support, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. What next? Next, uh, fast internet and a good internet connection. Away, so there's my old modem there ticking away. Um, not NBN yet, but when that comes, we'll be able to do things like streaming and you name it. There's it's, yeah, unlimited things that we can do here that people are doing in the US already, but yep. we'll, we'll get there in Australia. Okay. Next would be a good telly. Yep. So that's also got uh, an aerial hooked up to it so you can watch the footy or SBS2 or anything like that or stream. Um, but a good computer as well. Uh, so I've got the Alienware Alpha down yep. here. Yep. Um, that is a, it's effectively a laptop components crammed into a little machine. Right. A little bit more powerful. Um, $600 from JB, I think. So that's a great little solution. Yeah. Fans are a must have. Yep. Little one, even the cheap ones work fine. Uh, split system is a nice to have. Yep. Um, but as long as you've got air moving, you've got somewhere to put your bike, somewhere that you can just turn on and put your bike up and away you go. Makes it easy. Makes yep. the sessions a lot easier. If it's raining every morning, I'm happy. I'm, yeah. in, I'm in here. Yeah, right. Cool. All right, are you gonna hurt me tonight? I won't be hurting you. <laughs> There's a bunch right kicking off in about 10 minutes though that will hurt you. So I'm keen to uh, see how you go. Let's do it. So we're going to get set up our bikes on the trainer and we'll see what made Matt Heyman win the Paris Roubaix. I'm not sure it was what made him win, but certainly he had a lot of fitness going into that race. He kept his fitness. 
And uh, I reckon this had a major part to do with it. See, this is the shit. This is the shit. <laughs> but you do a bunchy like this, and people are like the, the heavier guys are out the ass, the lighter guys are up the road. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Just wait, we'll get you through the comp, we'll spin around and you do the descent, you get rest. Why would you train outside? <laughs> hey? I have never actually ridden on a Wahoo kicker before. As the gradient increases there, the pressure on this increases. And mate, I can tell you, it just, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. The fact that Shane knows he's pressing buttons, like he knows what's going on here. And it's like any computer game. I think you just get good at it, you know, the more you do it. There's a couple ready to go. Probably a bunch of, maybe about 20, maybe 30 tonight. There's no hiding your five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute power effort. In real life, you can hide what, that, what those numbers are. No one really knows how good you are on this. There's no hiding, the, the data's there for everyone to see. It's pretty crazy, the sun is rising. It's like an early morning bunch ride and uh, this is pretty sick. You can see everyone lined up on the side of the road. Five minutes, okay, I'll get you to stop pedaling in a sec. We'll just plonk you on the uh, start finish, so yeah. <clears throat> just keep rolling for now, and... Cool, that'll do, that'll do. Oh, just spin a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can stream, train. coaches are streaming training sessions with their riders. Um, Music pumping, intervals, you know, timed. Coaches are actually going to view mode to watch their riders put out the correct wattage. It's, yes, it's a game, but it's actually a really interesting tool and what people are using it for. Think of a driving instructor using Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> that, <laughs> but people are using it for this sort of thing. It's... So here we are doing a Maven style commentary on what's going on here. A few rude crew bumping shoulders here, not happy with this. Uh, just a little bit too close compared to what I'm used to in, uh, in the local crits. But you can see a few boys on the front, the string and the bunch out here. A couple of back markers coming through the bunch there. Interesting story, a real life story. I did a race in Kalgoorlie in Western Australia and we were in a handicap race and there was back markers coming through the bunch like that as we were passing them extremely a lot faster than what they were passing us and I ended up hitting one of them at 70 kilometers an hour ended up hitting the dirt and lost pretty much most of the skin off my body that was a big nasty crash but yeah you can see here we're hitting a bit of gravel so uh, if you haven't done Zwift before this is pretty cool and that's me in the green and black kit. Not a bad kit, actually. Might even uh, replicate it in the Maven kit. But you can see on Zwift here, they give you an option to turn left and right, which you can choose that option on your phone. So look down the bottom there. You can go straight or you can turn left. And if you've got your iPhone paired or a smartphone paired, you can click left or right, which is, uh, which is another pretty cool thing. But yeah, look. Uh, in summary, you know, Matt Heyman spent a lot of time on this, um, on this, on this game. Uh, Rob from Ride Media, uh, who I did an interview with recently, he actually phone interviewed with Matt Heyman uh, pretty much the day or two days after the race. And uh, this is a short snippet. I'll link Rob's full interview in the description below. But this is a short snippet. Rob asked Matt Heyman on what his thoughts were, what the history was with him training on Zwift and indoor trainers prior to his lead up to the, the Paris Roubaix. Okay, now we have to ask about how, how you did come back because if you break a, an arm in, in February, you're not really expected to be racing for a cobblestone in April, 
How did you manage this? I was introduced to to a, to a virtual world and was on the was on the home trainer using a, a, a program um, connected to the internet and riding around with um, Swift. Um, and uh, yeah, an old coach, Bobby, put me onto that and said it might be something just to, to help you, you know, find a few other people. And it seems to motivate um, that there's other people in there. And it would be strange if you ever told me that I'd spend much time on the ergo. It's um, something that I really did not enjoy. And, and I'm the kind of guy I prefer to ride in the rain than to sit on a home trainer. Um, but I got into it, and uh, and I guess also having the goal there when you when you're pretty focused on something you. But there was many hours on the home trainer. Yes, yeah, a really interesting ro- uh, interview there from uh, Rob at uh, Ride Media uh, with Maddie. So uh, thanks for that, Rob, if you're watching. But uh, yeah, look, pretty amazing. I-, I would say that Matt, you know, he's done 17 years as a professional cyclist. He this is his 15th attempt at uh, the Paris Roubaix. I wouldn't get any misconceptions that uh, indoor, you know, this indoor training environment is going to make you an absolute beast on the bicycle. But it certainly uh, is good for training and will bring you up when, when you need to. And, and you can see that you know, a month on the trainer is a, is a pretty good way to spend a month. All right, I've just finished uh, the Radio Tower Hill. But uh, it's, not, it's not the same as going out in the hills. You know, I still think there's more benefit to actually going out in the hills and training. But this is, the, this is without a doubt, in 2016, this is without a doubt the next best thing. He's taking advantage of the potential dive. Go, Matty. Momentum onto the wheel of Tom Bonin. Come on, Matty. Come on, Matty. Go, Matty. To the wheel, and here comes Seth Van Mark. Tom Bonin is boxed in. Heyman is leading out. It's Stenard around the outside. 